The last of our transformation uh, pieces is the dilation. Um, so far, if you think about what we've had, we've had translations, which are just moving it around. We've had rotations, which is actually turning the shape. Uh, we've had reflections, which is flipping the shape. And now we've got dilations, which means making the shape bigger or smaller. Basically, what you're going to be doing is, um, in a dilation, you're going to take all of the coordinates and you're going to multiply uh, them all by the same thing to increase the size or decrease the size of the shape. Um, one important thing to know is um, when, you when you're multiplying by a whole number, uh, obviously the shape was going to get bigger because it's going to multiply all the points. Uh, what you'll usually see when you are doing a dilation is instead of doing like to make it smaller, doing division, they'll still use multiplication but they'll end up multiplying it by a fraction which actually makes it smaller. So here's a good example just to show you here. If it says or if the scale factor is to times by one-third, that's the same thing as dividing everything by three. So that's something to keep in mind as we go forward here. All right, in this coordinate plane, uh, and all these examples we're going to do, we're always going to start with the black shape. I find that easiest. The black shape is going to be the original shape. Uh, and we're going to start with a dilation of 2, which means our scale factor is 2, which means we're multiplying every single point by 2. So we just have to go around all these points here. And for instance, this one is negative 2, negative 2. Okay, So I'm just going to put this off to the side here. Negative 2, negative 2. And then that, we got that one. This one is negative 6, negative 2 negative 6, negative 2, and we've got negative 6, negative 4, negative 6, negative 4, and then we've got negative 2, negative 4. If we are going to do a dilation of 2, that means we're basically going to make the shape twice as big. So all of these points I'm going to multiply by 2. So down here I'll multiply both of these by 2. Uh, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Uh, negative 6 times 2 would be negative 12. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then I have a negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Those are my new points right there. So I'm going to plot these, and then my shape will be twice as big. So if I go negative 4... Uh, negative 4, it's going to put a point right there. Negative 12, negative 4, it's going to put a point right there. Uh, negative 12, negative 8, we'll put a point right there. And then negative 4, negative 8, it's going to complete it right here. Here is my new shape. That's the same shape, just twice the size. Now, that would be what we would call an enlargement because we made the shape bigger from the original. I'll switch colors here and let's go with the dilation of half. Okay, Now dilation by half is timesing by a half which is the same thing as dividing by two. So I'm going to come back to my original set of points here and I'm going to divide everything by two. So if I divide both of those by two I'm going to get negative one and negative one. If I divide both of those by 2, I'm going to get negative 3, negative 1. If I divide both of those by 2, I'm going to get negative 3, negative 2. And if I divide both of those by 2, I'm going to get negative 1, negative 2. Those are my new points. And now my shape will be half the size. Uh, so negative 1, negative 1 is right here. Negative 3, negative 1 is right here. Uh, negative 3, negative 2 is here, and then negative 1, negative 2 is right here. Here is the shape dilated at a scale factor of 1 half, meaning it's half as big. And remember, if we're multiplying by a half, that's the same thing as dividing by 2. And if the question was, was this an enlargement or a reduction, we would definitely say reduction, because we started with the black shape and we made it smaller. All right, here is a, another example. We've got what looks to be a scaling triangle. So we'll list all our points first. I always like to do that first. I think it's easier just to lay them out. Uh, so it looks like that one would be 
three, uh, oops, sorry, two, three. Then we've got three, zero. And then we've got zero, three. My scale factor for this one, we're going to first start with this one, and then we'll do the same thing with this one down here. I have a dilation of three. Okay, that means it's going to get three times as big. So off to the side here, I'm going to make all these points, except for I'm going to make them three times as big. So two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Uh, three times three is nine. Three times zero is still zero. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9. I just took all these numbers and I multiplied them by 3. So now we'll plot it. 6 and then 9 would be right here. Uh, 9 and 0 would be here. And 0 and 9 would be here. Now if I connect those points, should have used the straight edge, but that's alright. I got the same shape, just 3 times as big. Now when we go to the other one, I've got a dilation of one-third. That means we're making the shape one-third as big as what it started as, which means it's going to be pretty small in the end here. Um, with it being one-third, um, that's the same thing as dividing by three. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write times one-third is the same thing as dividing by three. Now, I'm going to change the original shape around a little bit, I think, because I think I wanted to make that a 3, and I didn't, because 2 can't divide by 3, so I want to change this to 3, which is going to change our actual shape here. There we go. We'll do that. So now we got a right triangle, so it's a little bit different. And by the way, the first one was an enlargement because we made the shape bigger. So over here we're going to actually divide everything by 3 to get a dilation of 1 third. So both of these divided by 3 would be 1 and 1. Uh, both these divided by 3, that's going to be 1. 3 divided by 0 uh, would be 0. And then if we have 0 divided by 3, um, that's going to be 0. And then if we have 3 divided by 3 is 1. So now we need to just put the points on here. Uh, 1, 1 is right here. 1, 0 is right here, and 0, 1 is right here. Same shape, just three times as small. That would definitely be a reduction.